Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about deer hunting safety as once again nearly a half million hunters will hit the Minnesota woods in search of the elusive whitetail. Now most people are pretty certain about firearm safety and tree stand safety. Today I'm here to talk to you about emergency survival and what it would take for you to survive a night or more in the woods if you get lost or hurt. So I'm going to go through my top 10 things that I carry with me when I head into the woods, especially up here in the Superior National Forest where it is possible to get lost and get lost for quite a long time. Now the first thing we should talk about is when you hunt, you should either hunt with another person or if you're hunting by yourself, make sure you tell somebody where you're going in case you don't show up, they will know where to start looking for you. So anyway, quickly let's go through my top 10 list. Uh, it may change for the individual based on preference or needs, but here's what I take with me in the woods. A source of fire. Carry waterproof matches, a lighter, or other flame producing element. Learn the techniques for building fire, especially when the ground is wet. Second, a source of shelter. A tarp, plastic bag, emergency blanket, or other covering. Three, a compass. This compass should be in addition to the one you are already carrying. Four, a knife, multi-tool with pliers, a small saw, or other tools that you might need. Five, a rope for various uses, including building a shelter. Six, and this is very important, a flashlight. I think most people know what it looks like on an overcast night in the woods without a moonlight. It's black. I also carry another one in my regular pack. Seven, a small first aid kit with bandages, cleansing wipes, and tape. Eight, I carry a fluorescent orange marking tape, using for marking trails or finding your way back to camp. Nine, spare batteries for a flashlight or GPS. A person who uses a GPS should also carry a non-electric tool, which are the most trustworthy. Ten, a whistle or other signaling device. Again, some items should be mandatory in everyone's bag to some extent, but they may vary based on personal need or preference. The best advice is to become familiar with survival skills and know what to do in case of emergency before you head into the woods this fall. I'm Greg Scholzenberg of the Masabi Daily News.